Apple did it again. They dropped a small beta that weighs like it's not a patch, but half the operating system in disguise. Today, we're checking out macOS Tahoe 26.3 Beta 2. What actually changed? How stable it feels? What's going on with battery, heat, storage, benchmarks, and where Apple is quietly tightening the security screws when nobody's looking? This update landed at about 3.64 gigabytes on my Mac, which is hilarious because Apple calls it a minor release while it downloads like it's moving in and bringing furniture. The good news is, if your Mac supports macOS Tahoe 26, then Beta 2 should install on the exact same compatible models. Nothing new to check there. Just do yourself a favor before you hit update. Leave plenty of free storage. Downloading a few gigabytes is the easy part. It's the unpacking, reshuffling, and rebuilding the system behind the scenes phase that really eats space and patience. And of course, Apple didn't stop at just one platform. They pushed the second betas across the whole ecosystem on the same day. So if you're testing multiple devices, congratulations. It's one of those everything updates at once moments where your download queue looks like a grocery receipt. As for this Mac build, the build number is 25D5101C, up from 25D587F in the previous beta. And about the modem update question, Macs don't really have a separate modem firmware the way iPhones do, so there isn't a classic baseband story here. On Mac, the stuff that usually matters is the behind-the-scenes hardware layer. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, controllers, and system components. The kind of changes that can easily explain a big update size, even when the feature list looks suspiciously quiet. Now for the funniest part, there's almost no headline-worthy news. But one thing actually is noticeable. After the update, the first time you open mail, you may get a new screen that says optimizing your inbox. I saw it on more than one device, so chances are you'll see it too. And if you were hoping for something flashy, like brand new ringtones or some surprise wow feature, yeah, no, nothing like that showed up here. Everything else feels pretty much the same as before. And that's the point. When an update is this big but looks this quiet, it usually means Apple's swapping out internal components and tuning the engine, not adding shiny new buttons to the dashboard. From a day-to-day -day user perspective, Beta 2 feels like one of those releases where Apple isn't throwing confetti, they're tightening bolts. The visible changes are basically minimal, and the whole vibe is stability first. My approach with updates like this is simple. I don't obsess over what got added. I pay attention to what stopped being annoying. Do apps open faster? Does the UI hang less? Are those tiny animation hiccups gone? Is mail behaving, spotlight behaving, and is the network acting normal? And most importantly, do those random one-time glitches after an update just not happen anymore? Performance-wise, it feels about the same as before. But there's a good chance part of this update is quiet optimization work for Intel, the kind that helps the final release feel smoother on the last Intel Macs, even if Apple doesn't come out and throw a parade for it. On heat, the logic is pretty straightforward. If this beta is mostly about internal optimizations, your Mac should run the same in idle, or maybe even a touch cooler. But don't judge it in the first couple of hours after installing. Right after an update, macOS loves to do its behind-the-scenes housekeeping, indexing, optimizing, syncing photos, iCloud doing iCloud things. And suddenly your Mac is warm like it's training for a marathon while you're just staring at the desktop. And when it comes to battery, you really have to split it into two separate stories. Battery health, the actual condition of the battery, usually doesn't change overnight because you installed one beta. But battery life, the day-to-day -day runtime absolutely can fluctuate. One day it's solid, the next day it's like your battery decided to retire early, especially while the system is still settling in after the update. And that big update size isn't just about downloading 3.09 gigabyte and calling it a day. It also means temporary install files, system snapshots, and caches piling up while macOS does the whole let me rebuild myself routine. So if your storage suddenly looks a little tighter right after installing, that's not your Mac being dramatic. That's just the install process doing its thing. Now, I ran Geekbench, and the results were mildly interesting, slightly lower than before. 
Previously, I had 3822 slash 153334, and on beta 2, it came out 3685 slash 15385. But I want to be honest here, that kind of drop can easily be normal variance. Background processes, post-update settling, or just the benchmark gods waking up on the wrong side of the bed. The original notes even mention it may simply be a marginal difference, especially since there weren't any third-party apps running in the background. Now for the most interesting part, security. Apple is still testing background security improvements, basically a system where certain security components can update quietly in the background, separate from the usual full macOS update cycle. And in the notes, it's mentioned more like ongoing testing. Nothing flashy, no big user-facing announcement, just Apple doing the sneaky but smart safety upgrades behind the scenes. So the takeaway here is pretty simple. This beta isn't about wow features. It's about internal system work. The one visible change is that mail inbox optimization screen, and everything else feels like calm, careful tuning, likely aimed at stability and final polish. If you're on the beta train for brand new features, this one's gonna feel pretty quiet. But if you're here for a smoother, more stable build, this is exactly the kind of update that's worth installing and living with for a couple of days.